Kia ora koutou, cool Brent Simpson, Tene here with another Waiheke Media Teacher tutorial, this time on the online flashcard platform called Quizlet. Now Quizlet's essentially an online digital version of these things, the old flashcards, and teachers and students can create their own sets, or they can select from a variety of sets that have been uh, developed by members of the Quizlet community and are available for free on the platform. You can sign up for a free Quizlet account by visiting www.quizlet.com. I'll also put the link to Quizlet down in the description. Now because Quizlet is an online digital version of flashcards, it really takes the whole idea to another level and includes some added features like text-to-speech, which can be really great for students who have, or learners with uh, reading difficulties, uh, because it'll read out the cards to them. And it also has a variety of different study modes and games that can help uh, engage students and learners. There's a spelling mode for learning the correct spelling for terms. There's a test mode where Quizlet will create a sort of random variety of test types for a set of cards, including like multiple choice, mix and match, uh, sort of a closed type exercises that can be great for testing your knowledge of a, of a complete set. And there's a couple of games that one uh, students quite like is called Match, where you have to match the uh, definition to the for the term. And these are, this is a timed exercise. And if you have a class, it also creates a leaderboard, which can be quite uh, a motivating factor for students. Today we're going to go over a couple of things. The first thing we're going to look at is how to create a class. Um, the second thing is how to import students into your class. Um, there's a variety of ways to do that. And then finally we'll look at how to create your first set on Quizlet. So let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So here we are on uh, Quizlet page. This is my Quizlet page and you can see I've got um, a whole bunch of sets of cards. Some of these cards are card sets I've created for classes and actually some of them I've, um, I've, uh, are there from, from my own studying purpose like today of Maori is something that I study and so I've got um, cards just for my own for my own use. I'm just going to jump into, if you've never seen Quizlet before, I'm just going to jump into one real quickly to sort of give you a basic uh, overview of how it looks. So here's a set on language features for a year nine English class and you do have here a variety of um, of ways that you can interact with this set of cards. Now there's the learn feature is an interesting feature. It's kind of an artificial intelligence sort of a, it develops with you and presents you different terms as you go along. We're not going to look into that right now. It's a little bit advanced. What most people are doing off the bat is this one here, just the flashcard. So I'm just going to show you um, what that looks like. Here's all the terms that I've got in this set. <clears throat> this is kind of a teacher view. <clears throat> and this set has 32 terms and uh, they're all around language features used in uh, Year 9 English. So if I go to flashcards, here's my first term and the term is pun. And if I click on the uh, the card, it flips around and I get the definition uh, play on words based on a word that has one sound but two meanings. I can now click through um, to different words, click around, and I get the, the back side of the flashcard. Now, if I want to um, to turn on audio, I can Language used to manipulate the way an audience feels. there to get the, uh, the text-to-speech. Or for some people, what might be, particularly if you have this on a mobile device, if you go to the options, this is what I was talking about before, some of the text-to-speech options. You can turn the audio on for everything, or you can uh, you have a little bit of granularity here where you can turn it on for the just the term, or you can turn it on just for the definition. Um, so now if I, if I come Language back to my cards... Language used to cards, manipulate the way an audience feels. Every time I flip through to the next card... Inclusive language. Use of personal pronouns to make the audience feel part of a group. So uh, as you can kind of imagine, if you do have the, have, have the uh, mobile app, you can also set it to just play Use automatically. Use personal pronouns to make the audience feel part of a group. And as you're walking along, um, you can Quotation. have flashcards playing a group of words uh, in your taken headphones. From a text or so that that's can be kind of handy. But um, I'm just going to turn the audio speaker. off real quick for now. Um, so that's essentially how it works. Um, and that's at its basic level. That um, is... Quizlet. So the second thing we're going to look at is um, how do we're going to, I'm going to show you how to create a class. Now a class is useful because 
it aggregates, it allows you to aggregate um, particular sets of cards uh, for just a, a, a single class that you may be teaching and also a, a particular set of students. And so rather than having students come in and, and see things all over the place, this is a real sort of a tidy way to approach it. And it's also good for, um, I mean, as a teacher, you know, you might be teaching classes over a series of years as well. You might be teaching the same, you know, or not year nine class uh, year in and year out and it kind of gives you a set of resources that are there and then you just swap out the students that are in the class so let's go and have a look at uh, how you make a class so here I am back on the main page of Quizlet and the first thing I want to do is uh, create a class and Im import some students um, that will have access to sets that I'll assign into this class you can see over here on the left I already have some classes from previous years but what I want to do at the moment is uh, create a new class that I'm going to be teaching next year. The name of the class is a Media Studies, uh, and it's level three. I'm going to put a little bit of a description, Media Studies at Waiheke High School. I might put Mr. Simpson. Um, I don't want other people in this class to be able to add sets or new members. I'm going to keep it just for, for students in this class. I'm going to untick this box. And as I've used this before, it knows that I uh, come from Waiheke High School. And you can add your school to this, um, sort of tag your school in this set. This can be interesting to look at what it helps you find other teachers in your school that might be uh, working on Quizlet and creating sets. So if you've got, like, say, for example, other science teachers who are creating sets, can be an easy way to kind of like uh, locate sets that are, are sort of specific to maybe your school um, and, and resonate with you know teachers' names who resonate with with students. So um, at the moment, I'm, I'm that one's fine. So I'm going to create my class, and here's my class. Currently, I don't have any sets assigned to it. We haven't made a set yet, um, and I've also got um, no. I've got one member that happens to be me. Um, right, so I want to. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about was how do I get students into the class, and there's a couple of ways to do this. The first one uh, has appeared uh, for us right here, which is to sh is to is to add this link, to copy this link, and um, send it to students via like a group email or possibly pasting it in um, in the stream on a Google Classroom or whatever uh, learning management system you might be using in your school, Moodle, etc. Uh, so that's one basic way that I can get the link out to students to uh, join the class. There's a couple of other ways if you come up to these um, icons in the top to add members. Um, the second way is to um, add bulk add users email addresses so if you have a um, student management system that will export uh, just email addresses for a particular class you could probably get those into a spreadsheet and then cut and paste them in here and it will uh, automatically send out the, the join link um, but the easier way to do this I think is really to use Google Classroom so let me show you how to do that next Okay, so now to add students uh, via Google Classroom, you need to have A, a Google Classroom account, and B, you really, um, it, it, it helps if you're um, signed into Chrome uh, as the same user that you associate with your Google Classroom, so probably your school email account. Uh, Quizlet even suggests that you have uh, Google Classroom open on another um, tabs. I want to now add students via Google Classroom. So I've got a little button up here on the top right hand corner of this icon says connect with Google Classroom. I'm going to click that and this will automatically invite students from a Google Classroom courses into this Quizlet class. So I go set up my class. Um, it's just asking me to make sure that I'm actually logged into Google Classroom already. I'm going to link this account to my Google Classroom account. It's going to ask for some authorization. I'm going to allow it. And it wants to access email addresses and class rosters through my Google Classroom, which it will need in order to, to import students. So I'm going to allow it to do that as well. Okay, now that I'm uh, linked up to my Google Classroom, I should now see a uh, appear in this modal window a series of of of, of um, classes that I'm teaching 
and here it is and I can pick which one to use to send the invitations I'm just going to pick one of these old ones even though not this is not the class I would use because usually I would have you need the class set up in Google Classroom first before you go through this process but if I tick um, students from the course you select we invited to this class I'm going to select this class here and uh, send invitations and now 15 invitations uh, have been sent uh, via Google Classroom to join um, this media studies class. And so over time, uh, students could pre-enroll in my Quizlet class as well. I'm pretty sure when they click on the link, um, it also creates them an account based on their school email address. So that's nice as well. So there's a couple of ways you can add students into your Quizlet class. And the next thing we'll look at is uh, how to create a, a set and how to add that set to your class. Okay, so now we want to create our first set of flashcards for our new media studies class. I'm going to go back to the home page of Quizlet and hit this create button and I'm going to create a new set. I'm going to give it a subject or some kind of a title. I'm going to call this film terminology. I'm just going to create a little set of um, of terms for students who are, who are taking this class. Now, um, here you may see there is a couple of options of how you can actually get terms and definitions into Quizlet, and you can import from a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or Google Docs, etc. So if you have some kind of old form of, um, of flashcards or definitions, you might be able to import those straight away and, and get a sort of a pre-populated set for yourself. Um, you can actually add other sets created by other teachers into your classroom. But at the moment, I'm just gonna make one from scratch around film terms. Um, one of the nice things about Quizlet is that because there are so many sets already created by teachers all over the world on the platform, um, it kind of does a sort of an auto fill thing for you uh, for definitions and terminology and that can actually speed up the creation a lot of a lot of the time so for example I'm going to start by creating something about an establishing shot and as you can see the term is already uh, in Quizlet and once I've created the term over here on the left hand side I come over to the right hand side and I want to enter the definition and actually there are a series of definitions that are already in the system that uh, it is pulled up on and I can use these just verbatim or I can uh, once I click on one I can modify it as well so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pick this one here a specific type of extreme long shot used to tell the audience where and when the program takes place and um, if I need to add more I can do it there as well or I can just take this um, as is uh, one of the nice features of Quizlet as well is you can also add an image um, and this can be particularly for, um, you know, like media studies classes, etc. This can be um, quite a valuable addition to, uh, to the learning process um, to have help people, students uh, and learners see what you're talking about. Um, so I might actually add an image to that. You can add an image that's already there or uh, if you notice down here, you can upload your own image. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that one for now. Um, and I'm going to add my second term. My next term is going to be a point of view shot. And so here we go, a POV shot. I think I'll pick that one there. Uh, shot perspective whereby the camera assumes a subject. I'm going to click this one. And so as you see, I can work um, down and create a series of flashcards that have uh, terminology that are relevant to, to this class and, and this learning objective. Um, once I've, I think I might need to add a third card really quick. So let's, I'm going to add Dutch tilt, see what we get. Not Dutch tile, Dutch tilt, Dutch tilt shot. Um, and I'm going to make a definition there, a shot that tilts off and drastically. Right, so now I have my set of cards, I'm going to create it. And I can now share uh, my set on Google Classroom and pick the class that I've just created, or I can just copy the link here and, and add it to a classroom announcement or send it out as an email. And here we have uh, our set, establishing shot, click the card, a uh, specific type of extreme long shot used to tell the audience when and where the program takes place. I can actually full screen this as well, I suppose, or make it bigger. Um, so there we go. And I can move through my cards, point of view shot, 
and Dutch tilt shot there. Now if I go to my class, oops, sorry, I'll just create a class. If I go to my class, Media Studies Level 3, I still don't have any sets in my class. So if I add a study set, I can add this one that I've just created. And there you have it. I've got my film terminology set in my Media Studies Level 3 class. And I would just be waiting for students to uh, subscribe to this class and utilize the set. Um, in a future tutorial, I'll show you. You do collect some. Um, you can collect some 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 nice data through Quizlet that shows you how far um, students have gone through your set, and it can also show you if they've been using some of the other features that can show you what terms are are getting students are getting stuck on so you can use that to inform your teaching and learning at a later date but that'll be another tutorial hopefully this introduction has um, got you interested in Quizlet make sure you check out the link down below to Quizlet and have a go yourself it's a free platform um, and like I said it's one of the core uh, tools and in, in, in my teaching and learning make sure if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe and I'll catch you next time for another more tutorials on Quizlet and other tools for education kia kaha